All right, hey everyone, what about here, and welcome to Arcanium, Rise of Akan. It is a deck builder roguelike uh, out in early access that I actually played, was it a year ago or a couple months ago? I honestly, oh, you know what, I think it was back during E3 time, I think? I don't know, this year has ruined my memory and I don't remember a damn thing. Anyway, super solid, really lovely, made by, I believe once again, ex-Blizzard devs, I think specifically ex-Hearthstone devs. And I loved what I played, but it was kind of in a rough state uh, a while back. It looks like my mastery level carried over, so that's a good sign. Uh, so I'm just going to dive right in. And Chapter 1, Anador. Yep, Aranax the Bl Brood Queen again. So the Brood has been corrupted and is swarming at Anador. Feeding upon the province. Cleanse Anador. Alright. Normal, no modifiers. Lore, artifacts. These are items. Cool. Probably just going to dive into this. And it looks like the heroes are... Oh, interesting. So they've actually switched out the heroes. So we still got uh, Milady Aurora, but this time it's Leon. They took out Angorn since I last played. All right. Now, do I have any heirloom items? Unlocks at level 8, and he's only level 1. Well, I guess we're just going into this one raw. It's fine. Anador once knew peace because Aranax, the great protector, knew the pulse of the forest. Her web stretched wide, warning of any potential incursions into the shaded thickets. Now the forest province is in peril. From its once great protector, who succumbed to the thrall of the Umbra, she has rallied her commanders and minions. Arachnids, wolves, bears, sprites, and others now ravage the land she once defended with the same fervor. The wardens of the forest are outmatched by those by these forests. Or forces, gosh, this text is really hard to read and very small. Including some of their own, turned by the lures of the Dark Shards. Those who remain true to preserving the Woodland Sanctuary will be your eyes and ears, scouting ahead, scouring the forest for where the roots of the corruption lay. It will be up to you three to assume the mantle of Protector of the Forest and triumph against those who once held that very role. As the heart of Arzu, it is vital to the war effort that Anador staves off the corruption. The balance of the forest used to provide to the world itself has been tipped with the arrival of the shards. The people who once thrived here, the forest groves that once supplied life to all travelers, have become jaded, unhelpful, and isolated. The unity that once made Anador one of the most tight-knit communities in Arzu has been fractured, and it will be up to you three brave heroes to return to the sanctuary to its former gl glory. Okay. Objectives. Every chapter has its own storyline. Defeat the super lead enemy at each colored shard battle to progress through the province in battle Aranax. The corruption meter increases when you explore the map and battle enemies. Beware. A con triggers cataclysm once the bar is full, destroying three random nodes every step. Umbra, the Dark Moon, rains down shards of corruption throughout your run. Villains rush rush to and feed off the shards of power, or off the shards power. In order to cleanse the node, you'll need to defeat the villains there first. Okay. Hi. We had, there's a lot here. Silkweaver, Slithar storyline. Slice. Another forest crawler falls at your feet, adding to the scattered bodies of its brethren. You hear screams in the distance, as well as the distance, distinct sounds of claws scratching against the dirt. More crawlers. Your scout has brought you urgent intel. Pass through the forest that Silkweaver Sithar has emerged from her den. She's got a bottomless appetite, and the corruption won't help. You must find and stop her. So, reports suggest an outpost is in dan danger, or heroes gone missing and their trail is growing cold. Let's do Mentor Node, see how that goes. Alright. So, Elite Battle, Corrupted, 3. Loot, Ability, Artifacts, Gold Item, Extra Chance. Explore, cool. Battle Elite Villains, Cleanse, and Access the Node. I... Let's go this way first, so we do just a regular one. Okay, Explore. It looks like someone dropped some gold passing through here, Finders Keepers. Okay. Ability gold item. Let's do a battle, and then the elite battle. All right, defeat three enemies. So I don't know how this guy works, but I've seen the other two. I'll protect you. Quick, swap with me. Okay. So this is enemy turn. This is what they're going to do. So Leon has deal five damage, shield steel. Shield steel. Gain shield equal to the direct damage dealt to target's health. Ah. Oh. And intercept. Dash. Gain one immune. Okay, so 
Let me see. So I've got six AP overall between all characters. Ranged. Okay, so I could drag him over, or we can dash him, dash him this direction. Makes it so he doesn't take any damage, and we can hit... Okay, and he has to hit in melee, because that's not a ranged attack. Dash, apply to vulnerable. Six damage in the line, three burn. Well, how much... I've actually... I'm doing fine energy-wise. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do too much to protect her from damage. They definitely took visual cues from Hearthstone's UI. Yeah, but I can't honestly blame them if they worked on Hearthstone. Also, I honestly just can't blame people nowadays. Okay, three damage and a cleave. Both sides of the tar chosen target. Piercing damage, damage in line, shield steal, damage in line. Okay, so I'm going to have him intercept here, take no damage. We're going to do Crusader Strike, spread some. Kill that one so we just don't have to take any damage. And she's got shield steal so she doesn't take anything. And we've still got, we've still got some time. Fury is used to play your ultimate cards. Gain one Fury per AP spent. I think I'm good. I'll wait until the next round and we'll use, use it because I don't think I have... I don't think I have enough energy for it. Is this a deck builder? Yes. Except for every character has their own deck. And also... Let's see. Ah. Gain an immune in a splash. Multi-strike, three, three piercing damage. Or 12 damage stun. Whoops. Didn't necessarily mean to do that, but that's fine. There we go. I guess we're good. Well, it's going to throw me off a little bit. Uh, let's see. Reward. So we get an ability. So it is a deck builder, but each of these characters has their own, like, specific deck that you can build up. And so it's more about, like, kind of teamwork between them. There's also gear and equipment and, like, hero abilities you can get. So pickpocket, three damage, gain twenty gold. I like that. Enchant applies powerful status effect on the target that cannot be dispelled. Oh, increase or redraw by one, or gain six shield, deal piercing damage. Said, I think I'm gonna go for pickpocket. Being able to just accrue gold over the course of a run sounds like a great idea. All right, let's try a corrupt battle and see what happens. Okay, set hero positions. Oh, I see. So this is... That's fine. I want to keep him in the center. Enemy's turn. Okay. So this is apply three poison. So what else we got? Bear is stunned. Dash. Well, hold up. What does dash do? Okay, so we know what dash does. I think... Intercept here. I'm vulnerable. So he's immune. Let's... Damage the line. Apply three burn. So burn is probably just... Quick damage. How much do I have? So that's going to do six damage. That's going to do five in shield steel. I... We can only hit the bear, so let's probably hit this one. Oh, I could have actually done Searing Beam and Judgment. Nah, let's hit the spider. Okay. So web. Four damage, apply root. Shuffle poison cards into deck. Alright, let's do that. If I do... Well... I guess I probably should have actually... Thought about that. I just wanted to get... 
Oh, and because I didn't break her sh- Ah, alright. Okay, we do have an ult. But we don't have enough. I was hoping I could actually do the shield burst. But no dice. Owie. Aurora is just going to pick up a boatload of damage. I'll see what I can do. So there's the bear. This one's about to burn. Damage at the end of the round. But that's probably the end of their round. So I'm just going to finish this one off with a fireball so I don't have to think about it. This bear is currently boosting itself. And they're not going to do a whole lot of damage. So let's do... You know what? Oh. It doesn't have quite as much range as I was hoping for. Fury meter. Damage and stun. Multi-strike piercing. Do pyro burst. Let us just delete bear. There we go. Bear has been deleted. Okay, so she takes one damage. That's not bad. There we go. End turn. So not bad. I'm still mostly worried about healing. Anador stones used to unlock other heroes. Artifact. Draw a card whenever you empty your hand once per turn. Gain gold whenever you hit an enemy villain. Or healing and shielding you apply is increased by one. Oh, these are tough. Because more money, more money is good stuff. Healing and shielding you apply, though. I'm going to go for the Thief's Pouch, like a fool. Shield and Cleanse. Damage equal to your shield, or... Let's give her Electro Shield. She doesn't seem to have any kind of defensive abilities. Okay. How do I change equipment? Here we go, Backpack. Ah! That's why that didn't show up. Artifacts. Is this on a per-character basis? It is. Well, she hits enemies the most anyway. Sends five debuffs from the allied player. Cool. Okay. Oh! Node discovered. Cleanse corruption. You have fought back the darkness and cleansed a corrupted area. Now that the corruption is no longer here, we can explore it safely. A challenging battle has honed your senses and perfected your technique. Upgrade a card. So we can... Most of these are kind of okay. So that makes Intercept free. Let's keep going down. Curious about Pickpocket. More damage, more gold. More shield, more cleanse. More vulnerable. I feel like Pickpocket is the kind of standout. That way it does more damage and is just good. Free artifact and an ability card. Artifacts. Ooh. So abilities deal one extra damage. Increase bird, burn, bleed, hex, and poison you apply, or just 25% extra damage. I feel like the Shimmering Amulet is probably the standout, especially on Aurora. Okay, go back to him. Give him second wind. Now, did they change regeneration? Maybe not, actually. Okay. And back to her. Shimmering amulet. Alright, so what do we got? Shrine. Pay to your spirits. Permanent upgrades for your heroes. Or buy cards and stuff. Well, I'm pretty poor. So let's check out the shrine. Knowledge and mastery. mastery life and power. Three light power and night reduce max health. Light resistance and max health. I don't know what any of these do. Reroll for a token. Do I have tokens? I did. Okay, let's do Boon of Light Boost. And let's give her some health. I have no idea what light power does. 
If that's, like, just permanent plus one damage to all of her attacks... Oh! Okay, there's enemies here. Enemies respawn after one turn. Passive Spore Cloud. Whenever you destroy this enemy, it applies three Backlash and a Splash. Good to know. I thought this was a town. I guess it is suddenly a fight. Okay, so what's he doing? Applies five regeneration to that. So we want to take out this guy. The main issue is... Damage breakdown. That's not going to help me that much. So, that's a poison hit. Let's do... It's only one immune. So I'm going to hit this guy. Intercept here. That way he takes no damage. we got a fireball. We've got a pounce. Okay. I'm gonna go there, do that. Fireball only hits him for 13. Ah, <sighs> do a bunch. Question, vulnerable. Takes additional damage. I wonder if the vulnerable goes away. One way or another, I think I'm gonna hit the spider just so I can take it down. Ah, uh, I should have hit him. So does the vulnerable go away after every round? Is this full release or early access? This is early access. Ah, that's what happened. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Pounce. Kill it. Let's see, we've got damage. I could get rid of that. So now what do we have? Not much. I think I'm going to wait. She's going to get poisoned, but... That... Didn't... Oh, I see. That's what's going on. Oh. We've got an elusive dude. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him. Okay. So what's he doing? Two mutations in their deck, two poison cards in their deck. If I just don't use this character, we don't take a whole lot of poison. Which I guess is kind of worth it. Intercepts. Well, here's the other option. He's got 18 HP. Oh, that's why you'd want to use that. Well, in that case... I'm just going to hit that guy. Grab a Pyro Burst. Kill him. And then intercept for her. Oh, he respawns in a turn. Okay, and that guy... That guy pieces out. I see how this works. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to have her poison herself, and then Cleansing Vile to get rid of it. I've still got plenty. What I want to do, intercept here. Gain the gold. Oh! Oh! Backlash! That's the risk. Okay. I understand how this works. So they're just going to poison the heck out of her. Well, I'm going to do that because he's got regen. Him taking damage is not the end of the world. 
How do I focus fire? And I guess that guy. Because all I have to do is kill one of these things. I could take him out again for more money, but I think that's going to start causing some risk. Okay, can't do that. What I'm going to do... Judgment. So that that costs one AP normally. But that's fine. Because we can do Blade Steel, finish this off, and then we win. There we go. Okay. Plated Greaves, whenever you dash or teleport, gain two shield. Abilities do extra damage. Gain one resilience. Whenever an enemy targets you. Oh. Well, that's really good. And an ability. So second win plus is nice. Whirlwind, two damage and apply two vulnerable to cleave. Or more regen. Let's just use second wind. I want to just stack mad healing. I Last time I played this, I won purely through regen. Discovered a town node. Okay, so we have a trainer, which will teach me... It looks like a number of these are just generic neutral cards, which is nice. Multi-strike three... Multi-strike three, deal three damage to cleave. Fan of knives is... Great. Static Fury and Fan of Knives are amazing. Let's take a look at Forge. Sells artifact cards which provide passive bonuses and incre increase stats. Uh, let's see. Burn whenever you target an enemy. Ooh, that's real good. Vulnerable effects of your enemies twice. Alright, that's stupid good. We get potions and we get an in. I think I might skip the inn. We're a little injured, but we're not that injured. You skip the equip for the artifact, it looks like. I can do it whenever, which is nice. So in retrospect... Hmm. I got 390 gold. I feel like I need to pick up Static Fury. That's too good. Explorer's Torch has some potential. Death Wish has some potential. Lost Medallion would be interesting, but I don't have a whole lot of team moves. So, I could do Explorer's Torch in the Short Sword. Oh, here's the other option. We can upgrade. So eight shields in a splash, seven, seven shield are vulnerable. Okay, well. Let's get Fan of Knives and let's upgrade it. Let's upgrade a bunch, actually. Honestly, upgrading one of these fireballs would probably be the next best option. Yeah, let's, let's go for one of the fireballs. Make it beefy. Okay, and back. We are now poor, but that is fine. Okay, ooh, snatch purse. Steal two gold per damage dealt. Gold can be reclaimed by fighting the enemy. Okay, so we gotta kill the sprite looter. Possibly repeatedly here. If you can't handle the heat, get out of the province. So let's take a look at this. A little bit more direct. Oh, you know what? I forgot to equip my new stuff. I'm a dingus. Whatever, we'll make it work. Three 
3 damage and a cleave. I go for the intercept, but I actually kind of need him to take the damage. Uh, let's see. Well, here's the other option. Kill that spider. We'll just kill the sprite looter after this. Because, yeah, I do enough damage that I can just... Just kill it. Okay. I don't have any gold to steal, though. That is a good point. But I somehow gained gold... Oh, from killing the other one. Okay. So he's escaping. And doing nothing. I can't get him anyway. Wait, hold up. I do have a pounce. Eh, not much I can do about it. Oh, I can have him intercept himself. Okay, let's do that. Her ult is available, but I think I'm just going to ignore it. Alright, let's kill that with the pickpocket, which gets me some money. Uh, let's see, she doesn't have too much. Let's do that. Let's do Electro Shield. Doesn't let me do anything, but that's fine. Let's grab... Pyro Burst. And just delete that guy. There we go. And that gets all my... Gets me all my gold back anyway. Problem solved. Okay, ability. Two Resilience, double the effect if it's the only card in your hand. What's Resilience do? Reduce all incoming damage by X. Conjure Power Stone. Gain two power. Expend. I don't feel like recuperation is that amazing. Conjure Power Stone would be interesting. What's the upgrade? Three Power Stones and regular... Yeah, Power Stones don't upgrade. What's faint give me? It's okay. I think I'm kind of meh on a lot of these. They could be good, maybe. But since I can't hold on to a lot of cards, we're not in the greatest spot. Okay. Well, we're fine. We didn't take too much damage there, so let's grab Static Fury, because it's actually really good. Bulwark on him. Bulwark on him. There we go. Okay. So, I don't know about Recuperation, but I definitely want to do Fan of Knives. Here's a question. Oh. Slot bonus, plus one redraw. So we actually do want to equip more things, because that potentially lets them draw more cards. Okay. Well, I think I will just continue to go ever forward. Let's not do every fight here. Gain two regeneration whenever an enemy minion dies in its lane. Okay, so the hatch surrogate summoned things in. Well, thank you for just aiming at the right man. Let's take a look at this. So I'm, he's going to take eight damage. Static fu Fury. Good stuff. So. That's good Fireball. We've also got Fan of Knives for crazy damage. And a Cleave. Well, I want to do Pickpocket, no matter what. Hey, and we still get to do the Cleave. Alright, that's a... That's an incredibly solid opening run. Run? Round? Fight? Looks like a mix of Monster Train and For the King, accurate? Kind of. 
It's a lot more... Monster Train, I guess. Oh, that's how redraw works. I wonder if there's a way I can get rid of these. Maybe. Okay. So I'm going to give him regeneration intercept. Electro shield. And fireball. I guess we'll just delete that one. And let's let's just wait until the next round. Ah, uh, for the king for the open overworld. Yeah, you know what? I can see that. It's effectively like it's it's kind of like if Slay the Spire had multiple decks. That's respawning next turn. So that's gonna summon an egg. Let's do that, because that's easy. Uh do we do scorch? Cause these are these are as far as I can tell, oh they're just summoning spiderlings. Okay. I'm just going to set him on fire. I could do more things, but I think I'll just wait to the next round to do just some damage. Right, let's take a look at this. We got some pretty weak, weak dude men here. That's easy. Give him second wind. I guess, honestly, let's go for a pyro burst. What an egregious waste. On the plus side, that's wrecked now. Oh, I forgot I got poisoned. Well, that's fine. Start with Static Fury. There we go, that's better. Recuperation, Pounce. Alright, there we go. Searing Beam, which will delete both of those guys. And we have enough for a Blade Storm, which is enough to kill that one. There we go. Sweet victory. Ocean of Dreams, card from your deck, add it to your hand, charges one. Well, that's good. I'm gonna grab another fan of knives. It's too strong. Especially, honestly, if we keep our eyes out for another short sword. Uh, let's see. So, let's get rid of recuperation. I don't think it really helps that much. We'll do fan of knives. Alright. Free item? Hell yeah. Okay, Ram Loot Cache has an artifact. Gain gold whenever you destroy an enemy. Resilience whenever an ally targets you. Increase burn. I guess I'm gonna just go with Bounty Hunter's Satchel. And equip it on her. Okay, an ability. Four piercing damage and a cleave. Ten shield, draw one. Power stones. Hmm. Probably go Blazing Tail. Get her the redraw. Okay. Permanent upgrades for the heroes. I think the light damage bonus only applies to... Light. Let's mess with this. Fortitude and growth. Let's see, I don't think I have any tokens. Give her the nature resistance. Something interesting is here. Let's do an explore. Restore health. And let's do an elite fight. Looks like everything is fine. Let's just roll through these guys. 
Okay, stabby, stabby, that's the way. Umbra's corruption is here to stay. Fair enough. Okay, so that just reduces all nature damage by X. Well, that's lovely. Let's do Static Fury, so she doesn't take as much. Pounce. Band of Knives, we don't have too much else. Yeah, Band of Knives, which does just boatloads of damage to this dude. I'm not going to be able to shave off all the damage, but I can shave off enough. Yeah, what did I forget? Blazing Tail? I don't really need Blazing Tail right now. It's the next round that I want it for. Okay, pickpocket. Hey, and he's still vulnerable, so I can kill him for money. Bam! Hell yeah, cash. I Maybe I should have actually given her the money. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, toast those. So, he's got an intercept. We'll do intercept for self. Self. I do Crusader Strike? Nah. How much do I have? I got... I'm just gonna hit that. Oh! He's still gonna take that no matter what, and she got poisoned for three. I missed some of these things. So what are we looking at? Alright, so she's got Electro Shield. Which might not be the end of the world. So this guy is hella poisoned. So I'm going to do that to start. Switch them. Electro Shield, which gets rid of her poison. Let's see. Go for that, because we're not going to take too much damage. Let's do Pyro Burst. Hit that one so we take even less. And I'm going to move her, because she's got Crazy Splash. If I get another Fan of Knives. I might not. Okay, so we got second... Well, this is not necessarily what I was going for. It's fine. Okay, there we go. So I've got energy for days. She's going to take six. That's not bad. So I'm just going to start wailing on this guy. And... We can't do a Pyro Burst yet, he's not vulnerable enough. So let's just wait. I think we're good. Yeah, we're not taking any damage. Return X damages health when hitting this target. Oh, that's how Leech works. Okay. Okay, so let's get rid of them. Get rid of them. Let's see, we just have to defeat one enemy, yeah? Give me a Pyro Burst. Problem solved, goodbye. Give me my money back. Actually, I might even get extra. Healing and shielding you apply is increased by two. I think we want to grab Paragon of Wisdom. Fly Hex whenever you target an enemy. Ah. Yeah, let's go for Paragon of Wisdom. And let's just put it on him. Oh. Resolve 5 damage and a cleave. Lifesteal. Yeah. Let's grab that. That's going to be real expensive to pull off, though. That's the one... That's the one downside. Well, what else can we do? So, that makes it cheaper. More damage. More resilience. More shielding. 
I'm feeling upgrading the uh, either the Fan of Knives or Heroic Strike. Let's go Fan of Knives for right now. Okay, so I want to take a look at this. So we're a little injured, but we're not actually that injured. Oh, and we have to do that. So let's let's do the event. Gain gold. Gain gold. I get plenty just by being. Uh, let's go for the corrupted shrine, and then I'll probably loop around. There's a lot of poison being thrown my way, which I'm not appreciative of. Alright, so let's take a look at this. So let's start with a Static Fury. That solves all damage. So let's... Crusader Strike... Intercept... Fan of Knives. There we go. Still not going to take any damage, and we've done some pretty hefty things to them. Alright, so what do we got? That's a lot of damage! Damn! Ugh. Okay. Let me take a look at this one. So there's some Electro Shield. We've got an alt ready. This guy's probably just going to take damage. I guess the uh, easy action is put him there. Have him tank. Let's do Divine Aegis. Just take no damage on this one. I probably should have thought of that beforehand, but I think we'll be okay. Ouchies. Okay. Intercept. Pounce. Searing beam to take care of that. Still gonna take damage, unfortunately. I really, there's not much I can do about it. I've got three. Let's do a Judgment so he doesn't take nearly as much. Oh, and I can't do anything else. Ow! Well, I might have been a bit glib going into this one. Wounded. Ouchies. Okay, we're gonna start with the Searing Beam, and then I'm gonna just Fan of Knives everybody into non-existence. That does the trick. That hurt. Gain shield whenever an ally targets you. One power of the start of every turn. Um, obviously. <laughs> Enchant 3. Your multi... Multi-strike cards hit an extra time. Adrenaline Rush would be interesting if I had more multi-strike. I'm going to grab it because she's kind of built for it, but I'm not going to equip it immediately. Okay, now let's put on some new things because I've got at least one new artifact that I'm probably going to put on her. Okay, got a new shrine node. 
Knowledge of Mastery. Okay. Arcana. An elemental. Yeah, three arcana power and max health. I'm gonna go for that. I still don't understand how they work, but the extra max, max health can't be denied. All right, so abilities now. What? What? No. Abil okay. Give him heroic strike. Instead of create Crusader Strike, maybe. I really gotta get her one more move. Alright, Silk Weaver Silthar. Let's give it a shot. Hopefully this nicks down the corruption, maybe? I don't know. Following their trail, you locate the lost hero. As they foolishly try to stave off too many crawlers at once, you recognize the one and only Silk Weaver Silthar. This hapless fighter stands no chance against this foe, especially now that half their body is covered in thick, sinewy webs. Upgrade an ability adds six corruption. It's, oh. Eight Anadar stones. Enemies get stronger. Let's go for the corruption, I guess. But upgrade a thing. Battle start. Got plenty more where that came from. Hey, hot stuff. Oh, ha ha. Not you. I was talking about me. The banter is... Well, it's certainly banter. All right, let's take a look. So he wants to second win himself. Can he second win somebody else? I wish he could. Okay, so the big issue here I'm looking at is the only one that matters is the boss. I'm going to set that thing on fire, and we'll just have him recuperate a bunch. Okay, easy fight, they say. I may have let them scale up too much. Uh, let's see how this goes. So that's just applying poison. Let's take a look. Oh. Judgment. Flip. Zeus is not going to take any. She's going to take some. Not too much. Do fan of knives. Flesh strike. Flesche? Flesche? Okay, do we go for the stun? Do we go for the blade storm? Let's go for the blade storm. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have. Because that, that guy just comes back and I already had the shielding. So that I wasn't going to take any damage after all. Okay, let's think about this one. Okay, so he's not going to take anything. She is, though, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, no, we're fine. Okay, how much juice do I have? I have just enough. Let's scorch her. Pounce. Killer. We've got the poison. Not much I can do about it. I really gotta kill this boss. I really gotta harm the boss. That's a big toughie.
Okay, so we have a pounce. Oh. Main problem is I want to do Fan of Knives. Well. I'd like to hit the boss with Fan of Knives, but I don't see that happening. Eric Strike, that's going to be a kind of waste. Let's see. Because the bear sucks. I want to get him in the center so he can shield. I, okay. I hate doing this. Static Fury. No damage. Victorious Strike. Pounce. Fan of Knives. Would have liked to hit the boss there, but I'll take what I can get. Okay. I'm gonna just pyro burst the bear. Okay. Bear's pretty messed up. Oh. Why'd heroic strike get cheaper? I haven't the faintest. Can't say I'm complaining, though. Okay, so if I did Heroic Strike, it would kill the bear. Got some backlash from that one, but that's fine. Well, that'll... That'll give me some shield. I think I'm just gonna do that. Oh, that one's got backlash. Frustrating. Let's take a look. Pop over there. If I if I do this, we can kill the wolf. He's just going to intercept himself twice. Take no damage. I think that'll be fine for now. I want to hit the boss, but I want to hit the boss when the boss is as minimal backlash. Otherwise, I'm going to just take a shit ton of damage, and I don't want that. Okay. So what do I got? I got a lot. I'm gonna make her take four. Probably fine. He takes no damage. She does. Honestly, I'm in favor of just deleting the mid boss or mid bosses, the allies as they go by. I really wish Leon had the ability to just give somebody else regen. That's that's all this build needs. Okay, Static Fury, no damage for anybody. Vicious Strike. I don't have too much else. So we'll just do the usual Fan of Knives. And that. And Fury Meter, Blade Storm. She's already vulnerable, so I should be capitalizing on that as much as possible. Okay. Easy answer. Always pickpocket. Now it looks like that's apply poison. So we'll keep Electro Shield for the next one. I'll 
Let's see, I don't have anything really here. Let's just go for the Backlash and the Second Wind. And the Scorch. Set the bear on fire. I like the nature armor. Because that makes it so poison barely hurts her. Right, let's see what I got. I don't got much. Let's do intercept there. That does damage in a line. Actually, didn't know that one. Grab that. I've got plenty. Nobody's taking any damage. So let's hit her a bunch. Keep blade storming the boss. And second wins. Just so he remains this obscene, untouchable goon. Okay. I gotta remember, kill the bear first, just for the extra cash. Holy shit, I am rich. We gotta find a town. Alright. Shield is still in a line. Oh, that did way more damage than I thought it was going to. Well, that's fine. We don't need the extra money. Alright, so artifacts. Roots and stuns have no effect on you. Blade, ble apply bleed whenever you target an enemy. Or abilities deal one extra damage. Oh, that's... I gotta go probably short sword. The rusty cleaver, I like the idea of that. But that's whenever you target them, not whenever you hit them. Slice and dice. Multi-strike three, deal two damage in a cleave, shield steel. That's too good. And we've unlocked Mentor. You pull the strands of web off the hero. As you all laugh about almost being mauled, the adventure life. Oh, you pull the st strands of web off the hero as you all laughed about being mauled. Adventure life, right? As thanks, they offered to teach you some of their considerable talents, suggesting maybe they'll help you a bit more than they helped me. Upgrade card. All right, so first and foremost, adrenaline rush. Uh, ooh, gets cheaper, that's real good. And it's three more damage. Let's go for the Adrenaline Rush, if I'm going to be using that one. Continue to Mentor. So they will teach me a skill. So, Aim Shot, Focus. What's Focus? Oh, Nature cards have a green border. Nature damages do decrease by nature resistances. Ah, makes sense. Focus. Lo Wait, what does Focus do? We didn't look at that one. Whenever you play a card from this hero, reduce the cost of this card by one until... Oh, I got it. So it gets cheaper. Deal 10 damage. Double the damage if the target is affected by poison. Deal shield. I feel like aimed shot on her would be obscene. Okay. As you travel back down the road to the capital to recuperate, a rush... Of movement alerts you to a group of incomers. The spiders give you no time to react. However, as you're quickly surrounded by the three ranks of arachnids, a tall, green-tinged spider makes its way to the front of the crowd and regards you with contempt. All forest lands from the city of Arachnia to the banks of the river Syr have been claimed by Queen Aranax of Anador. He hisses in a raspy voice. Vacate the region by sundown or your lives are forfeit to me, Enforcer, Royal Enforcer Blackfang. At that, Blackfang and the rest of the spiders advance back down the road. Sharing uneasy glances, your party waits until the spider patrol passes out of sight. No morally good alternative, you head back in the direction of... Uh, in the direction Blackfang bid you not to go in search of any way to defeat the Royal Enforcer and his patrol. Traitor node. And it wants me to go over there. Oh, I thought I was going to get a trading node. That's fine. So aim shot... Gets cheaper the more abilities she uses, which is a little expensive uh, and going to be hard to pull off. Considering she gets bonuses left and right, it's probably worth it. Uh, nope, go back. Does she have... No, she does not have Adrenaline Rush. So in that case, let's grab Recuperation just for the ultimate plus, even if I don't necessarily want it. 
<sighs> so where am I going? This run's gone on a little long. We can skip these. Oh, teleport here, cool down five steps. Wait, I, what? All right. I could swing around, this is gonna get harder. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna swing through, let's go a little faster, because this is getting harder. Three damage per AP spent, shield steel expend. I think these are kind of okay. Whenever you play an expend card, discard it instead of expending it. Well, that's real good. Let's start with the upgrades, because I, I think that's the, the key to success here. Aim shot gets cheaper. Slice and dice does more damage. Let's actually upgrade the pounces. I was trying to figure out what else I wanted to upgrade. But pounce for the extra vulnerability is really good. Do that twice. I don't think I really care about any of these. Maybe the plated greaves for him, but even then, he doesn't need shield. Everybody else does. Okay. Defeat three enemies. Uh, let's see. Eh, they look fine. Let's see, wonder will we be making any emojis for chat anytime soon. New emotes? Maybe. I need to sit down and actually say, like, hey, I should work on some of these things. Uh, but I've been mostly focused on new games and more new games. Okay, so let's take a look at this. I think we're pretty good. So I'll just have her wait, because I want her to get the focus attack. Okay, so that guy's got thorns. Let me see. I'm gonna try the resilience. I wanna I wanna see if this works. Yes! Okay, that does work. So he's going to take some damage, but honestly, that has never been an issue for him. There we go. What's he doing? Summon a Doom Bark. That's fine. Well... I'm definitely feeling like I'm getting stronger here. Right, there's aim shot. Got a fireball. Delete that guy, because that's easy. Okay. I'm going to intercept for her. Crusader Strike's not going to do enough damage, is it? That's fine. Oh, that hurt real bad. I didn't even notice. That's nah, fine. Have her put pounce over here. Grab a pyro burst. Ow. Oh. Maybe my saved pyro burst is actually best left for this guy. Okay, he's stunned for a round. Intercept self. 
Kill that. So he's still going to take five damage? Oh, it's piercing. Oh, actually, if I just kill this guy, it's not a problem. Oh, he doesn't count. Yeah, he doesn't count for a regular enemy fight. All right. This is okay. It makes sense. None of these guys have shields, yeah? Perfect. And that guy's a pain in the ass, no matter what I do. Well, second wind up. Take a bit of backlash. Do I searing beam? Grab a pyro burst. Just delete this guy. Problem solved. Trying to kill the treant is just annoying. And I've got more money than I even know what to do with. Alright, Apex Pet Predator. Enchant 3, no. Six damage lifesteal. Why can't that be on anybody else? I mean, I guess I'll grab it. Okay. Restore party health. I think I'm fine. Let's keep upgrading cards. So that gets cheaper. That gets cheaper. That does more damage. That's good. Honestly, let's uh let's make the intercepts free. The more energy I have, the better. Gain one ability, enemies gain extra health. Sure. On the path, displaced villagers become a frequent sight. One particularly large group of wagons beseeches you to protect them. We have children and elderly. We're not certain to reach the Great River by nightfall. Unwilling to abandon the defenseless caravan train, you make plans with a few capable fighters to shield the rest from harm. You're uncertain if you have sufficient numbers, but sunset arrives. Request aid from an old mentor. But yeah, we're going to have to focus on Black, Flank, Black Fang Bash map. Protect you, quick swap with me. Hey, and they're all hitting the right guy. Let's take a look at this. Oh, they all got stunned. Hell yeah. That's going to do some damage. Okay, so he is going to shuffle mutation cards in. Not much I can do about that. Unfortunately, I don't think being immune pre prevents this attack from actually hitting me. No, it did, I think. Nope, it didn't. Three stacks of a random debuff to myself expend. Oh, resolve. Reduces the cost by one AP for every enemy targeting you. Ah, that's how that works. All right, we're just going to do that. Uh, that kind of sucks, actually. Going to do Electro Shield. Well, when in doubt, use that one. Here's the thing we could do an Aegis. Yeah, let's do a Divine Aegis so we don't take damage. Okay, that's some heavy debuffs, though. I'm gonna do that. Counts. Recuperation. Slice and dice. 
which doesn't do any damage and gets her an insane amount of shields that unfortunately does not carry over. Okay. She is fine. He can heal himself, so we don't care too much about damage. And... Honestly, 2, H 2 HP off of Aurora is not a big deal. Alright, so I gotta pounce. I've got some things. Let's start with this searing, searing beam. Gets rid of those guys. Nine piercing damage and wound. Recuperation. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. Pounce. Recuperation for more defense. Let's do aim shot. Hit him bad, because we don't have to worry about the backlash. Okay, so she'll only take two. Yeah, that's about the best I'm going to get. But he is mad vulnerable, which is kind of what I was looking for. Oh, that's everything I was hoping for and more. Adrenaline rush. Fan of knives. Blade Storm. Okay. Seven piercing damage. We've gotten an intercept so she doesn't take any damage. Okay. Probably should have done the scorch on him, but I think we'll be okay. Because all I have to do is hit this guy, like, two more times, and he's done. And I should be able to just, uh, get, I should be able to get enough fury here. So let's start with pickpocket, pounce, and slice and dice. There we go. A little bit of damage. We're, we're golden, though. All right, artifacts. Melee abilities deal more damage. Damage is reduced by 50% per enemy targeting you. I mean, that's obscene, and I can make that work. End guard, 10 shield, draw one. Ooh, I like that. Let's go on guard. She doesn't have a lot of shield abilities. Okay. You avert your eyes, not wishing to peer at the devastation any longer. Black Fang was successfully defeated, but the rest of the platoon overwhelmed the villagers. One deeply injured trader inventories his wares and offers to sell you what remains before returning home to rebuild his stockpile. Pick an ability. Interrupt. That one's tough. Let's grab that one, though I don't think it's going to help me too much. Restore to... Uh, ooh. I'm going to buy both of these. I'll buy the Nomad's Boots. Okay, Stopping the Plague Village Node or Corrupting Wardens. With the minor threats to Anador Dispatch, the minions of Akon grow more concerned about the news of the band, band of so-called heroes that have been saving the woods. It was time to send a more formidable foe to challenge those who would dis disrupt Akon's plans for Anador. Sorgoth, the Fetid, 
was well known amongst the Arachnid Invasion Force for his connection to the Dark Moon Umbra. Tales of his mastery of the dark powers that would taint all who touched him, friend or foe, spread from the ranks of Khan's forces to the general populace, populace of Anador. Some said this foe would corrupt even the cowards that ran as he approaches. Stopping the plague. Shards still reign on this land. We'll chop up any who side with that terrible power. Okay. So, let's close out of this. There's a lot of lore for this game. So artifacts, definitely, definitely Paragon of Strength. That's gonna make her spooky. So she's got Might of the Forest, gain power at the start of every turn, cool. I'm gonna get rid of that at least. Let's do Nomad's Boots, because he's got an amount. I'm going to get rid of the Thief's Pouch, because we just don't need the money. And let's go for health. That way, these two get a little bit of healing. Which is kind of what we need. So he's got Leeching Smash if I wanted to go that direction. I don't really. On guard. Better than a Vicious Strike. And for her. Combustion. Equal to your current Fury. I don't think I really generate Fury with her. So I don't think this is actually worth it. Well. All these nodes have been consumed. So I guess I'm just going to cycle around. And see what we can do. Heal up a bit. Next fight. Battle the super elite villain, gain artifact, ability, even more gold, and an item. Let's see. Restores health? No. Receive random blessing, adds more corruption. We'll see what happens. Blessing of fortitude. Increase all gold you gain from battles by 25%. Lasts for three battles. I I guess I don't really need money, though. Well, it's fine. We're here. Spiders crawling up your back. We'll fix that. This is going to hurt you more than it'll hurt me. It's true. Alright, let's take a look at this. So she's got an On Guard, we've got a Fireball, Static Fury. Let's start with the Intercept. Because this is stands, he's going to take a little bit of damage. I guess the alternate is... We do Static Fury. Oh no, but there's, there's the boss. Okay. So this guy's a pain, and I kind of want to avoid him. I don't know how bad this guy's going to be. Pounce him again. Doesn't that look like they're really harming here. Why did I do that? Okay. On guard. Well... There's pretty much no such thing as a better setup than that. That hurt real bad. Oh, because she's got Mad Leech. Oh. Well, I doofed that one. Okay, becoming immune does not actually... Balls. Yeah, so she got hexed as hell, which means Milady is going down regardless of what I do. Kind of. Yeah, what do I got?
So that'll do five damage to hit them. I think we're out of juice. Alright, I'll just figure it out. Cleanse. She doesn't have any cleanse. Whew. Okay. I'm just gonna make it work as best as I possibly can. Oh, I meant to do Searing Beam. Alright. I well, screwed that one up. My best bet is just to kill him before it becomes a problem. I was make do. Let's see. Move lady so she can cleanse with the static shield. I doesn't work that way, sadly. Pounce. Pickpocket. Flesh strike. Oh, well, how did that work? I guess it did. Okay. Draw draw two cards hitting the arc Outplay would be interesting, yeah, but I don't have any arcana cards. Let's grab a second static fury, because that one's kind of incredible. And let's re-roll these. Shield is no longer removed to the end of your turn. Oh Yeah, I gotta go for Armor of Kings. The question is who do I give that to? Okay, add corruption. And then continue to village. Which now lets me heal. Thank you. Okay. Aranex the Brood Queen. Fenric Swiftfoot. Chief Warden's Scout. Hurries up waving an arm. It's been a long fight to get to this. You've been tremendous. Thank you for all that you've done for us. But before you finish the fight, I brought... Something to prepare for it. It seems what Fenric, uh, it seems that Fenric must have been well informed. He brought just what you were asking for. What was it you were looking for? Well, I'm full health. Uh, let's check artifacts. Her. I'm almost thinking giving her the armor of kings. He's the obvious choice, but he doesn't actually generate that many shields. Or he generates a lot of shields for himself and self heal. So I'm thinking we take off the Emerald Lance and we give her the Armor of Kings. And let's upgrade a card. Another Static Fury Plus. Let's actually go back to him. Throw it on. And get rid of the Crusader's Strike. Three damage in a cleave is not actually that good. Maybe Leeching Smash. Okay, so where am I going? Boss is over here. Well, Cataclysm. Okay, Arcana has triggered a Cataclysm. Province has reached max corruption. All the corrupted nodes have been annihilated and turned into rifts until there are no nodes left. Every step you take onto a Rift Node will deal 4 damage to your entire party. Once the province is in Cataclysm, there's no turning back. 3 Corruption Shards fall every step. So the question is, do I want to try the event? We'll do it. We'll see what happens. Okay. While exploring the wild woods, you discover an ancient shrine, all but reclaimed in the forest. Inside sits a block of stone with an intricate sword sticking, at, sword sticking out of it. For some reason, you get the impression it won't be easy to pull it out. Try it. Alright, well, that worked. Uh, let's see. So next up, artifacts. I'm going to get rid of the short sword in favor of a might of the forest. Gain one power at the start of every turn. That's just, that's too good. It's better than one flat damage, I think.
Okay, so we're not taking any damage. Which kind of works out for me. So what's he doing? Shuffle a blaze into the deck. And he's summoning. enough damage here. Let's switch these two. That'll have to do. Well, on the plus side, tons of damage. Okay, so let's take a look at these. So we got Slice and Dice. On guard. Pounce. Slice and dice. Yeah, because she doesn't lose shields, she's just able to tank hits left and right like a crazy pants. Okay, let's grab Blade Storm. Five piercing damage. Well, bye. Okay, and he doesn't take any damage. Gosh, yeah, giving giving her the one so her armor does not go away is just chef's kiss. Okay. Let's just do Static Figure, Fury, Second Wind, Judgment. Scorch. And we wait. Okay, here they come. Nothing particularly nasty yet. There's a blaze, three burn to self, that's fine. Okay. Move here, give him the vulnerability. Right, because no one's targeting her now, she's just going to do bonus damage. Well... That's the way to do it. Okay. Let's do Divine Aegis. Next up, Flesh Strike for some more of that. Uh, let's see. Searing Beam? Sure. And I'm going to have him set himself on fire. Because I don't actually care if he takes damage or not. Alright, let's take a look at this. So there's Adrenaline Rush. Um, I guess let's just do it. Yeah, there they go. Aww. He went invulnerable. I was hoping I could get a double kill for my final hit, but alas. 7 damage and a splash destroys all shields. Interesting. I'll grab it. I mean, I guess it's actually, it's better than what half the stuff she's got. Let's get rid of the Scorches. The burn damage is just nothing compared to what she usually does. And we barely took damage. Oh boy, lore and story. Boss battle, Aran Aranex, Aranex, Aranex? I don't know. Brood Creed, Brood Queen, gosh. Strung from the shard to every tree within sight are thick strands of webbing that glow with a dull, unnatural color. The webs strum like cacophonous instruments conducted by a deaf composer, causing the pulsing appears to be a massive egg appears to be massive egg sacs pulsing, making the webs reaching out from it shiver. It's tough to avoid stepping on any of the webbing, but as you approach the shard intent on destroying it, you hear sounds from above. Jumping back just in time to avoid being crushed by the massive, chitinous form of Aranex the Brood Queen. She shrieks and clicks at you, a sound of suffering that stabs at your ears. My webs were perfect before you came in. Everything was so close to its end. Every animal where they needed to be for Aran 
Anador to fall. You horrible little flies are nothing to me, yet you trouble me so. The venom dripping from her fangs bore holes in the ground where it landed, puffing out small clouds of haze. Make a mental note to watch out for that in the battle to come as she continues her tirade. I made allowances to the wardens, but you, you come at, from outside my webs, and now that you're in them, it's time to feed you to the corruption. Your lives as you know them are at an end, but you will soon be beautiful additions to my plan. Relics ready, your favorite abilities prepped, potions on the belt, it's time to end the corruption of Anador at its source. Aranax drags her webs forward with her, but you can feel but you feel as ready as you can be. The battle starts and ends here. Well, time to just roll through this one. Aranax extends life tethers to her living nest allies. Every turn she will heal herself by siphoning up to ten max H or max of ten HP from each of the nests, thus damaging the nests. Fools, did you really think you could come to my force and kill my children? Does anyone else in the middle lane, please? <laughs> no lane is safe from us. Prepare Prepare yourselves to be dinner. Alright. New deck builder roguelike. Of course. Did you expect anything otherwise? Alright. Keep the damage off. What do we got? Arcane Blast destroys all shields. Does some decent damage. Oh, sweet Jesus. Alternatively. Bam. 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 Oh, there we go. You will pretty much never be able to hurt Milady at this point, and that is everything I was kind of hoping for. Alright, let's take a look. Let's do an Arcane Blast. It gets rid of the nests. She's doing poison. She really is just gonna wail on her with poison, isn't she? Well, pounce, pickpocket. I can't do too much here. The Aurora is gonna take some damage, but that's fine. That's a lot of damage. It is a lot of damage. Okay, so she's doing the usual. Well, here's the thing. Okay, let's grab Blade Storm. That's a whole bunch of dangage. How does this game feel compared to when you last played it? A little bit stabler, a little bit better. I in I understand it more. And I mean, I always knew this game was going to be pretty good when I first played it. Like it has all of the hallmarks of a absolutely fantastic deck builder. Okay, let's just get another blade storm up in here. I'm just going to wail on the boss. Nothing else matters. Uh it's Get rid of some of that. There we go. I I definitely have a better strategy this time. If dragging Milady into a uh, just an absolutely terrible multi-strike build has just been hilarious to behold. And crazy effective. Ooh. Lob is bad, or Toxic Cloud. Reduce the target's hand size by three. Apply poison, uh, three poison at the end of every turn. That's, that's mean. Anyway, die. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> oh, boy, they are no match for you. Ah, uh, no, my forest, my children. Even with all this delicious power, I failed. Wait, I feel so strange, like I've been living in a dream. Forgive me, I was too weak to defend against the corruption. Th thank you. I didn't know what I was doing. You were seduced by the unholy power of Ar Akon and the Apex. While you were blinded with raw power, you allowed the corruption to strangle the life from this place. 
Now that you're free, and without the vile corruption spreading across the land, Anator will return to its former glory. One step closer to crushing Akan. His power is weakened now that Anador is no longer in his control. Cool. And we get more Anador stones. Thanks for playing! Well, that's it. I guess I'll keep reading this. There's a lot of dialogue here! Just a casual 159 shields. It was busted! I love that. Alright, after a well-fought battle, Aranax collapses to the ground, unmoving. Strands of web billowing away, disappearing into the dark undergrowth. Her hulking form begins to show signs of life as corruption recedes from her body. You have defeated the former protector turned Blight of Anador, and a small portion of the balance is restored to Arzu. As you return to the inn, you gather your thoughts and plan your next move. The forest seems lighter, cleaner, and all signs of the corruption have abated, and the weight is off your shoulders. But there's still more to be done. Reports pour in from neighboring provinces that the corruption has taken, uh, taken root, and the Shards of Umbra cannot be defeated. A queasy feeling sets in, it seems, like Archon Archon is won. All hope is lost, despite your best efforts. The feeling in your gut intensifies and your vision begins to blur. You blink, attempting to blot out the light overpowering your eyes, but to no avail. There, there are no leads to where Akan is, but to save Arzu and restore the balance, the world must be stopped. Oh, uh, balance to the world, he must be stopped. The thought creeps into your head as if it were there already. The figures of the spirits materialize before you, or you before them. Akan has grown too powerful to, and the corruption too strong. It will be up to you to seek out allies and gain access to other provinces to prevent the cataclysm from befalling Arzu. Be gone. Return to your beginnings and save Arzu. The balance must be restored. So we've completed the current early access version of Arcanium. More is coming. Okay, so they'll be adding four new heroes for Anador, along with four heroes per province, across two, two new provinces coming in the next several months. Then Akan himself will be ready to battle. Stay tuned f as the game progresses through the development process. The tiny team here at Super Combo is thrilled to have been able to share with you their flagship title. We brought back to the main menu where you can start a new run, continue unlocking artifacts in Anador, and new abilities for your heroes. See if you have what it takes to defeat Aranax on harder difficulties. Right. Because it does that. Alright, so we have unlocked Anadorian Bow, draw two cards whenever you destroy a villain with a ranged ability, and apply poison whenever an enemy hits you. She gets just a bunch of things. Mark, gain three cleanse and one power upon hitting the target with any elemental card. Well, that's pretty good. Deal equal to your fury. Extra damage equal to your fury. But she doesn't have any fury generation to begin with, so I'm not entirely sure how that functions. Enchant, restore two health whenever immune is removed from you. Mark, draw two cards upon hitting the target with an arcana card. Okay, so this is an arcana card. 6 damage, 10 damage. So this is elemental. Restore 6 health if lethal. Cool. So restart new seed, restart same seed, some other stuff. Team, details, artifacts, cool. How do I get heirlooms? How do I do the upgrade, or is that not there? So is this a demo? No. This is this is the early access version. It is actually out now uh, and available for, for purchase on Steam. Uh, let me find it. Are yeah, the releases in next week? No, it came out today. I This is one of those games where I don't think they actually did really any marketing at all. Which is, I want to say, one of the greatest tragedies I've seen this year. Because it's... It's really good. Like, this is on par with Vault of the Void, Slay the Spire, uh, Monster Train... And, God, what other ones have I played? There's a number of these, like, really solid deck builder roguelikes. I would say Slay the Spire is, like, a little bit... Slay the Spire is better, followed by Monster Train, followed by this, Vault of the Void, and then the other kind of uh, A tier, non, not S tier, uh, deck builders. Obviously, this one still got a ways to go before it's actually done done, but, like, in terms of, I mean, visual quality, it's absolutely ace. The music was pretty good, mostly unmemorable, but that's fine. But just having three heroes to com combine in like a more sub substantive manner feels really good. It's like if uh, Monster Train only had three monsters per run, and each one had very specific cards related to them. And I like that, because it started to feel kind of like, oh, hey, I have all these extra mobs monsters that I don't really need. Uh, 
just clogging my deck and I just had to get rid of them. I, I also really appreciate the fact that there is no deck bloat. The deck bloat is purely what you want to equip and nothing more, which I think is a really solid way of handling it. Anyway, so beyond that, it is available on Steam right now in early access. I think we've seen effectively all that there is to see, but that's still like vaguely an hour and a half per run. Uh, plus there's still a lot of items to unlock. Uh, let's see, can I... So there's hard, which is more EXP, more health, more power. Goes all the way up there. Enemies only play ultimates. Oh boy. Artifacts. Yeah, there's a lot of these. And I haven't even used half of them. I haven't even seen half of them. Boss, these. Okay, so these are the four heroes. I believe I was using Shinzo. It was either Shinzo or Angorn the last time I played this. But that's how you get those guys. Uh, I gotta check. Let's just do normal run. Heirloom. Ah, here we go. Unlocks, oh, at level 8 and then 14. So I'm gonna have to play a bunch. Well, not that much. Gain shield equal to all access damage you deal whenever you destroy an enemy. That's okay. Trigger burn instantly when you hit an enemy afflicted by burn. Reduce max HP by 6. That's real good, actually. Hard to pull off, but still. Let's take a look at Leon's. Apply one power and a splash whenever you destroy an enemy. And restore one health per immune you receive. Also pretty good. And Milady. One resilience whenever you draw a card. Reduce max health by six. That's still pretty good. And whenever you destroy an enemy, transfer all of their buffs to yourself. Huh. Maybe good. Maybe not good. I don't really know. And then, obviously, we've got all these other characters that I can't play with yet. I think it was Angorn that I played with the last time I played. I think? Was it Shinza? Gosh, I don't remember. Oh, that's fine. Anyway, so I don't really know how much of this I'm going to necessarily want to play. Uh, I'm probably going to want to wait for some more characters to get added. I love the fact that there is a roadmap. I wish there was kind of time estimates, but since it's such a small team, I understand ex entirely why they probably don't have those. Because otherwise you pull a cyberpunk and keep pushing it back. And then when it does come out, they've rushed it and it's bad. So... New heroes, game difficulty, side quest, banter, saving, probably mid-run, new heroes, codex, cosmetics, chapter 3. Oh, I see. So, Uzir is going to be the next biome, followed by Scorched Lands, maybe? More heroes, voiceover. I would love that. I, I would hope that the voiceover is for the lore bits and not for the characters just saying words whenever they hit stuff. Because I think that would drive me a little, little silly. Oh, let's see. So yeah, next, it looks like they're mostly going to have every single one of their next patches be... Yeah, maybe it was Shinzo. Yeah, Shinzo is the tank. So I was using Shinzo the first time I played this. Angorn is a support character. Cool. So yeah, every update is just going to be adding a new, new hero. Cool. Oh, and mastery is the total of all of your unlocked hero levels. That makes sense. Oh, and that's why my characters already had preset levels. That makes sense. All right, so last thing is they do have a Discord if you do want to get involved. It's discord.com slash invite slash Arcanium. Uh, if you do want to join it, I'll try and remember to put a link in the description below. And with all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I might come back for more of this, or I might put it off a little bit and wait for more updates. We'll see. Maybe I'll just come back for every single character update. That seems like a good way to do it.